Black Stars coach James Kwesiapia is no longer in charge of the senior national men's team after the GFA dissolved all technical teams of the various national teams. The decision affects both male and female national teams. Other coaches affected by the decision of the Ghana Football Association are Messi, Tego Kwaku, Evans Alote and Yusuf Bazigi. The GFA extended its appreciation to all uh, the coaches and members of their respective national teams for their contributions towards Ghana football. Sadiq Adams has been monitoring the situation. Sadiq, good afternoon. You're welcome to Midday Life. Thank you very much, Thierry. All right. So, obviously, as a sports journalist, you have been on top of this issue. Yeah. Tell us what exactly you think of uh, Kwesi Apia's exit. Let's start with him first. His exits from the Black Stars position. Well, I think that it's a new association. They will want to chart a new path. And um, you understand that Kwesi Apia was given a target by the s Association. A lot of things went amiss, especially with the two targets, two basic targets that were set for the coach, uh, were, first of all, to win the, uh, the AFCON 2019, the yeah. ultimate one, and also try and qualify for the World Cup in 2018. And both of them, to me, he failed. And uh, this is a new association. The cardinal determinant of whether or not this association is successful depends on what transpires on the pitch. The pitch. And you need the coaches to do that. And first of all, they've appointed some committee members, but the, for the technical committee, this association that needs to chart its own ambition and visions. And so what they need to do is to appoint people that they can work with and set targets for them that will correspond to what this association is trying to achieve. So if Kwesi Apia was given a target by the previous administration and those targets were not achieved, we have come in and we, we need new technical directions that will conform to what we have set for ourselves. So basically, that's why the coach, uh, his contract was not renewed because mm. what was set for him was not achieved and maybe the association think that we need to go a new direction. But Sadiq, um, you, you get the impression from uh, the fans, especially on social media, a lot of people are excited uh, by the news that Kwesi Apia is no longer the head coach of the Black Stars. What does this say about Kwesi Apia's credentials and his ability, as we've seen yeah. um, in the two stints that he's managed the Black Stars. I understand what the fans would want to portray by celebrating, uh, in quotes, the, yeah. the sacking of the coach. Not sacking, but relieving him of his duties, yeah. even though his contract has expired. But I think that Kwesi Apia did not do himself uh, a lot of good by staying on after the AFCON. I mm. know he loves the team. He would have wanted to do things differently yeah. after that AFCON. But this is the third major tournament that he's failed, woefully, uh, for the team AFCON 2013, World Cup 2014, which to me has been the apogee of disaster in terms of Ghana football. He was in charge of that and superintended over our woeful AFCON in 2019. And this three major uh, tournaments, every coach is going to be uh, I mean, judged or, or rated by what they achieve in tournament, in yeah. major tournament, especially in the context of Ghana. You are not going to rate a coach by what he does in qualifiers, by beating Sao Tome and Principe or beating South Africa. These are, have become formalities since yeah. 2004. Yeah. We've qualified and gone to the semifinals of basically all the AFCON. So a coach is going to be judged by what he does at the AFCON or major tournament. And three major tournaments for Kwesi Apia have not ended well, especially as we can allude or attribute all the blame of the AFCON mm. in 2019 to technical uh, yeah, incautious decisions and very reckless actions that were taken okay. days before the AFCON with issues of the captaincy, yeah. recall of Jan, flag servers, or Jubilee House having to come in to settle matters of captaincy. And what happened in AFCON? Government supplied over $6 million. Everything was done for the team before they departed. And so you cannot blame any other department or agency for what happened at the AFCON, but technical misdirection and what went amiss is attributed to the technical incompetence of the coach. That's why basically a lot of fans are calling for him. He should have stepped down, to the best of my knowledge, after the AFCON, yeah. after failing to hit, to save, face to save his face and image and credibility, than to stay yeah. and let your contract expire. Because any good staff uh, would have their contract reviewed or extended before, the, before, before even its yes, expiration. As we but see, I mean, yeah. I mean um, not to cut you there, but really, all the coaches that have been let go um, are local coaches. Of course. Um, what does it say to us 
you know, um, observing this? Is it, is it to say that the new administration does not believe in their, in, their, in their qualification or the credentials of the local coaches? Or is it just a mere formality? Step aside, we, we might just reinstate some of you. What exactly do you think is happening here? Well, it doesn't mean that all the coaches have been sacked permanently or eternally from the national team. Yeah. Some of them will be uh, reapplying for this position, but their, their targets will be revealed, mm. as I said, to conform with what this association wants to achieve uh, going forward. So some of the coaches, to the best of my knowledge and from what I have gathered, will be uh, re, re admitted or appointed to their positions. But a lot of them do not even have contracts. Uh, so yeah, it, in the it, first place, yeah. with the exception of the Black Stars, all the other national team coaches do not have standing contracts with the association. So it is not about sacking them or their competence having to come to question, but it's about getting new people to lead the association. Perhaps, perhaps, because Pia may be reappointed based on what he sent to the FA on his CV and going through the interviewing process. If he, he's able to convince the panel I'm sure that he may be reapplied. It doesn't mean that Kosiapia has been sacked or barred from the national team and applies to all of them. Ibrahim Tanko, uh, CK Akonos, Steven Apia, yeah. a lot of them. Messi Tego to me exactly. will, will possibly come yeah. back to the Black Queens, but it depends on what it entails in appointing or reappointing a new coach. At this point, we don't know whether we are going local or foreign. Which exactly what I was coming to finally before I let you go. What is the way forward? In your view, should the Black Stars be coached by a foreigner as it is? Or should we sort of attempt to, uh, to find another local coach? And who is there anyway? There are a lot of people with the competence, if giving the support to coach. But I, I was one of the people that campaigned vigorously for Kosia Pierce come back because he was a local coach. But I'm going to say that foreign or local, yeah. Let's go for a very competent coach, regardless of where they come from. Yesterday, James Kusia Pia, he lost his job as the Black Star coach. Of course, his contract expired, but the Ghana Football Association decided not to renew it. So we are just going to be taking a quick look at what the numbers held for him uh, in his second stint um, you know, with the Black Stars. Now, he managed 24 games. He was, he, was, he was able to secure 11 wins, 5 losses and then also drew eight games. His heaviest win was against Ethiopia, a 5-0 win in an AFCON qualifier. But of course, the last one didn't go too well um, against Sao Tome and Principe, although the Black Star won, it wasn't too convincing. And a lot of people at that time were almost too sure that something had to give, something had to change at the Black Star level, something had to change at the national team level, judging by the number of competitions we played in the entire um, you know, year, and how miserable we looked in some of those competitions. I mean, we were able to travel all the way to penalty shootouts in the final, sometimes semi-final of some competitions. But clearly you could tell there was a problem. But uh, Sadiq, before I come back to you, sorry, we have to cross over you know, to my colleague, Daniel Yabua, who is uh, live in Accra, picking or sampling the views of fans on this matter. Asking people, what did they make of the news of Coach Kosiapia? Oh, Kosiapia have this time. We don't like Kosiapia. Kosiapia is a lot of uh, good coach. So we don't like her. We like her. We have to change. We have to bring another coach because we don't like Kosiapia. Kosiapia is the bad kind of coach. So we don't like Kosiapia. People don't like Coach Kosiapia. What do you make of the sacking of Coach Kosiapia? Kosiapia, they are no crazy so called. Is there Kosiapia? The crane or the first or team in the money and in Joe? Is there a say? Yes, it's a new man. Is there Kosiapia? Me and in Joe blast him. Is there a man blast? I have a sa. Is there a determination? Is there a who? Improvement be a because you are making the identity say you are different coach. You are with me as a team. No, we are to build a small place. I am more with me. I then you see a local place. You are more strong. We are with me about ball. And so because you are so you are not fresh fresh foreigners. Now they are day. I don't really know. I am about ball. I am more with me about that. Now they are day. And you see a good place. You are with me. I am blast. You are more with me. I am going to do. You see because you are a selection. All day. I am not saying man. Man, you are who you are. And you see a sense. You see a quite a corner. I am there. You see me try say. If it's many good different coach, I'll wait to my boy and man, you're meeting me a con, can you man, be a heading? I'll cost a fine fire, my and Timmy, yeah, say a bit change your coach. I might be a con, can all right? So, the Ghana Football Association, the next question that people are going to ask who is going to be the next coach for the Black Stars? Who is going to be the next coach for the Black Starlets, the Black Meteors, the Black Princesses, and all the various national teams? That is the next question people are asking for TV3 Sport live from Circle. Daniel Jabois.
All right, so those were the views of some fans that we caught up with. Clearly, you can tell what they want. Uh, meanwhile, we've been trying to get through to the handlers of the football here in Ghana. And uh, GFA chairman, uh, Ket Okreku, has refused to speak on its decision not to renew the contract of the senior national team coach and those of other national teams. Our reporter, Aisha Yakubu, was at the GFA headquarters to find out more on the matter. We're here at the Ghana Football Association to get the mood after it was reported that the contract of Kwesia Pia, who is the coach of the Black Stars, had ended. And also the technical team for the Ghana Football Association had been dissolved. Uh, since our arrival, we've met a couple of people. Um, we have seen the workers walking and going about their business as usual. There's nothing um, abnormal going on here. And a couple of stars have also walked in so far. We managed to get a Limbs of the Ghana Football Association President Kerto Kirku, um, who refused to speak with us. Uh, I think he wasn't re ready at the time uh, to speak uh, with us. We have been trying to establish contact with the communications uh, person or spokesperson for the Ghana Football Association as well. It's been a difficulty, but yes, we, we have been here for a while. We have seen uh, progress with the way people are going about their businesses, and we also heard that the technical director or Otia Kenteng is around, but we didn't get the opportunity to see him as him and the General Secretary have been in a meeting for a while now. We will try and get to the communications team and then get some answers for all the questions that everybody is asking. From the Ghana Football Association, Aisha Yakubu, TV3. Aisha Yakubu reporting from the Ghana Football Association headquarters. But remember, we've been talking about these, uh, you know, Six gentlemen and lady, uh, Black Queen's head coach, Mesitego Kwaku, who's lost his job, and then Black Princess uh, head coach, Yusuf Bazigay, Black Stars coach, Kwesia Pia, there is a Black Starlets coach, Karim Zito, Black Maidens head coach, and that is Evans Adote. Black Meteors is also was handled by Ibrahim Tanko, Black Satellites by Jimmy Kobler. All these, um, you know, coaches have lost their jobs. Uh, per the announcement of the GFA. Now I was asking you earlier what you thought was going to be the what you thought was going to be the um, next direction yes. of the GFA and what the issue was with these people. Briefly, if you can just summar summarize let's, this. Let's emphasize that all these coaches were in charge of national team that have failed in the last two years to yeah. qualify us for international tournaments. With the exception of the Black Stars that qualified for the AFCON in 2019. Messi Tego failed to qualify the team for the Olympic Games, losing against Kenya, who were the last time 100 I mean, uh, gaps apart in terms of uh, yeah. context with the Black, black Queens. Black Satellite coach Jimmy Kobler failed to qualify the team for the African Championship. Karim Zito failed to qualify for the World Cup with the Under-17. That was quite surprising because Ghana has been very present, ever present at the Under-17 World Cup. Black Maidens failed to qualify to the next stage of the World Cup yeah. after impressing in the group stages. Yeah. And uh, Ibrahim Tanko, the latest one, failed to qualify the team for, for the, the Olympics. Uh, Olympics, despite getting closer. Mm. Uh, the closest we've gotten in the last, um, let's say, 14 years yeah. uh, to the Olympics. So basically, all these coaches failed, and that gives room uh, for the GFA to take such a bold decision, all of them failed to, to deliver on the mandates that were given to them. Mm. Thank you very much, uh, Sadiq Adams, Thank uh, you for much. this uh, particular one you've just uh, you know, helped us with. Of course, Sadiq Adams is a sports journalist and he's been here speaking through the issues at the Ghana Football Association.